Okay, the purpose of this video is going to be a follow-up to tutorial number one, where I talked about what the definition of an absolute value was and how to graph an absolute value on a number line. I think maybe a quick refresher would be helpful. I'm going to actually also, by the way, use this equation to demonstrate probably a couple other ones if I can fit them in here in a short amount of time about how to go ahead and solve one of these problems. Okay, so our tutorial number one, what was it? Briefly, I said the absolute value is defined as the distance away from zero on a number line. So what this is saying is I want you to find an x that is five units away from zero on a number line. Now again, what does that quite mean? Well, if you remember from the first video, there's my zero, positive five is five units away from zero, but I also had negative five being five units away from zero. Notice that the positive or the negative had nothing to do with the answer. As long as I'm five units or five intervals away from zero, I've got the absolute value of five. Now, the way I wrote this, again, if you remember, is that I can get what's called a positive case or the negative case. Okay? I want to find x that is a positive, excuse me, I should have been on the other side there. I want to find x that's a positive, on the positive side of my number line, that's over here, and I want to find an x that's on the negative side of my number line. And again, it doesn't make any difference whether they're positive or negative directions, but it's just as long as it is five units away. So I call this the positive case, I call that the negative case. So notice what I did, I took the x out of the absolute value, and then I said the positive case is positive 5, the negative case is negative 5. Let's take that same dynamic and do it with this one. Okay? So, the absolute value of 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. What am I asking you to find? I'm asking you to find the positive side of the number line, what point on the positive side, and what point on the negative side. Now sometimes, well actually we'll just go ahead and do this one and show you how it works. What did I do with my x here? I just took it out and then I made that equal to positive and negative. So I'm going to say 2x plus 5 is equal to the positive 13 and then 2x plus 5 is equal to the negative 13. And again, look at the, my analogy works perfectly, right? I took the x out, then I took my 5, and I made it positive, and I made it negative. I took my 2x plus 5 out, and then I made it positive on this side, negative on that side. And you do that for all of these types of equations, okay? And then you solve them separately. Difficult problems are simple problems stacked up together. So let's go ahead and take these apart. Okay, so that's my first step. My second step, let's subtract 5 from both sides. That's going to give me an 8. Let's divide by 2. That's going to give me 4. So let's try this side. Let's subtract 5, and look what I get. I get a negative 18. Let's divide by 2. I get a negative 9. So according to this, if I put 4 in here, I'll get 13. If I put a negative 9 in here, I'll get 13. And let's check to see if that's true. So the absolute value of 2x plus 5 needs to be 13 units away from 0. Excuse me just a second while I adjust that. Okay, so let's check that. The absolute value of 2 times 4 plus 5 is 13. That's 8 plus 5 is 13. And sure enough, the absolute value of 13 is 13, because that's 13 units away from 0. Now let's try it so that one works. 
Let's try it with the negative 9 now. 2 times a negative 9 plus 5 is equal to 13. Remember, we're plugging it into the original equation. 2 times a negative 9 is negative 18 plus 5. Negative 18 plus 5 is negative 13. But it's the absolute value of negative 13. Is negative 13 13 units away from 0? And the answer is yes. So that one also works. Okay? So let's go through the procedure one more time, and then I'll go ahead and let this one be finished, this tutorial be finished, and we'll do another couple example videos later on. What you do is you take whatever is inside the uh, whatever is inside the absolute value, and you say it's equal to some kind of a positive distance away from uh, zero, 13 units away from zero. You divide it up into a positive case and a negative case. And you take whatever that is and make it positive and negative. Now be careful. Don't make this positive and negative. Make this positive and negative. Then you take whatever's inside there, put them in the right spots, and then solve each equation on its own. You should, get, you should get two different answers. Not all the time, but most of the time you will. Then I would suggest you always go back and plug it back into the original equation and see if it works. And it will work both times. There's the negative case, just like we expected, and there's the positive case, just like we expected. Okay, good luck with this. Try a couple more. Don't forget to check your answer at the end and see if it works. And I'll put, like I said, a couple more videos on here for you. Let me know if you have any questions.